Tim Duncan was schooling the San Antonio Spurs youngsters. Take a look and then we'll discuss. Ew. Forty-one years old, man, and he still got it. Forty-one's <laughs> fairly young. You tr- you t- you'd said it like if he's sixty. Forty-one years old. I mean, so. that's practically like. That's fairly young. If, you, if you're forty-one in the NBA, it's not like you're a Jamie Moyer level pitcher, right? And in no one baseball, expects that. But you know, like I do expect him to be. How old is Vince? Isn't Vince forty-one? Going, yeah, he's he's up there. Vince Carter is forty-one years old, and, and he's him. still dunking. Duncan Duncaning. Yet Tim Duncan did get bested by none other than another great NBA name, Jerron Blossom Game from Clemson. Take a look. Blossom game? Yeah. I would feel I like feel. I'm blossoming out of my skin. <laughs> so, uh, no, Tim Duncan at 41. You're like not impressed because he's like not that old? Yeah, he's not that old. And he you, he stays fairly healthy. He's, the sports that he picks up outside of basketball, even mm-hmm. that he did towards the end of his career, like it's he's, he's a healthy guy. He stayed active. Now, if I've read somewhere that he was – just sitting down in the couch trying to figure out what his next role is, then mm-hmm. sure. But 41, Tim Duncan was a great player. Of course, he's still going to be, be great. active. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. You don't think so? No. 41. I mean, yeah. What are we treating 41? Is it, 41 know, is 41. like the new 30. I know, but he's 41. Okay. Like, I, I'm always impressed when, like, guys push the limits, right? So Vince Carter's pushing his own limit. Bernard Hopkins pushed his limit when he won as a won a belt as a 45 year old, 46 year old. Right. That is the oldest to ever win a to ever be a single uh, title holder. Vince Carter, excuse me, Tim Duncan doing this in practice still a little bit impressive because in his last season he wasn't like amazing. He was still balling, but he was putting up like six and six a game. So like to see him do it against the youngsters, it's like I'll step into my class, little bro. I'm going to teach you a thing or two. And they could only learn from this. But don't you also think that if I'm playing with someone, if I'm giving someone the ropes, right, or showing someone the ropes, I'm also going to play a little better because I'm not trying to look like a fool. And if I'm playing in the season, something that I've done already, keep in mind, like, season isn't something where, yeah, he didn't have the best performance, but these guys are like, burning their bodies out because right. they're playing back-to-back games. They're, you know, on top of that, they have to be consistent with practices. So, of course, you're not going to have the best. If, if we're comparing one season with one practice, mm-hmm. I don't think it's it's justifiable. Which part? The fact that we're we're measuring his performance mm-hmm. in the season no, with how I'm, great he did in practice. I'm, I'm, I'm marveling at his ability to school the youngsters. And he did a great job at it. And he did a great job at it, so kudos. Do you guys want full TYT episodes? Yeah! So download YouTube TV and get a seven-day free week trial.